Okay, Jose Mourinho has come out in the last few hours and stated that Paul Pogba will not captain Manchester United again whilst he remains manager. It is it's a badly kept secret that Mourinho is, is clashing with some of his key players um, at Old Trafford. It, it, there's been issues with the transfer market. There's been issues in you know the players that he's got. Uh, there is rumours of dressing room unrest. And I'm seeing all the parallels of his second spell at Chelsea as manager. Um, I can't, I, I'm finding it difficult to see Mourinho there next season and I'm finding it difficult to see Manchester United competing for the league title. I can see several clubs above them in the league who, well, deserve to be above them in the league. I'm not holding any bar punches there. Um, and again, you look at the FA Cup final they, uh, against Chelsea with how negative the tactics were. That was the worst FA Cup final I've ever seen. But, yeah, most of the squad that he has now were on the pitch then. He's made very few signings. Uh, Lee Grant and Fred. That's it. Uh, an ageing journeyman goalkeeper and a young, talented Brazilian midfielder who's still got room to develop. That is that is the sum of their transfer dealings this summer. That is a problem. Uh, so the transfer market was a problem for Man United. Now, Pogba has come off the back of a brilliant World Cup. Uh, not every performance he put in at the World Cup was, was 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 great. There was some, you know, intermittently average play and, and Pogba losing focus, which is a Pogba thing to do. He can't defend. But the way Pogba is being used by Mourinho at Man United is causing a problem because the player is just attack-minded. He cannot defend. We know this. He is not a defensive midfielder. He's an attacking midfielder and he wants to create rather than defend. He cannot defend from corners or free kicks, so why have him in the box? So he's being misused in a defensive role, which then dilutes his attributes going forward. Simple. Um, and and Pogba and, and Mourinho have, have clashed over that. Um, their relationship has become more strained as time has gone on. Um, but Mourinho is is clearly... I can see the parallels of his second spell at Chelsea. I'll be very surprised if he is uh, a Manchester United manager uh, next season. I wouldn't be surprised if he actually doesn't last out this season. The issue with this, though, in saying Pogba is not being given any more leadership responsibilities or, or key responsibilities in the side in a way like this is it opens the door for him to leave in January or the summer. Barcelona are interested, amongst other clubs, for his services. So, it, it's, you know, it's a difficult one. I can see Mourinho is starting to lose the dressing room. Other key players are, are, are not happy. Um, I was going to do a video on Alexis Sanchez and is he worth his his you know his, his wage bill, but this is a, I think more interesting because who's going to be captain going forward? Who's going to wear the armband going forward? Because Carrick has now left the club. Fletch has left the club. You know, who else is going to take up that leadership responsibility? Who is the leader in that dressing room? Because I don't see Pogba as captain material necessarily, but you are now taking the armband away from him and then saying to him, in the media, bear in mind he's putting this in the media, it's not just a private, we're taking the captain away from you, we're giving it to someone else for the time being or permanently, it just suits both parties. Very publicly, Mourinho has gone, I'm stripping the captaincy off you, and by the way, while I'm manager, you're never wearing that armband ever again. That doesn't build confidence, that is a very negative way of, of dealing with things. Um, so who, who replaces Pogba as, 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 as captain? Um, you know, it's a difficult one. Um, I can see this leading to either the manager leaving, the player leaving, or both. I, I cannot see a happy outcome um, for, for anything here. Um, and it then makes Ed Woodward, the vice chairman, really stupid as well for, you know, spending that much money getting Pogba back when they could lose him at a loss or Barcelona pinch him and all that effort to get him back from Juventus when they let him go in the first place and Mourinho was insistent on getting this player back at the club makes the whole decision look stupid. And, and yeah, Pogba has his critics and I am, I am critical of Pogba's performances at times. Um, he goes missing in games at times. Some games he's brilliant, um, sometimes he's average, sometimes he's completely irrelevant. But it's, the, it's all of Man United at the moment. There's a lot of players not performing to the wage bill they're, they're at and the salary they're, they're receiving uh, and or, or performing to where they could perform at with looking at their previous um, previous form, previous
previous seasons, and a lot of them are still reasonably young enough to still have some good good numbers to come out, like be it goals, assists, passes, you know, tackle, whatever it may be, whatever whatever their role is in the side, a lot of these players are not performing, and other players are are out of their depth. But there we go, Mourinho has stripped the captaincy from Paul Pogba. Um, I don't know who, who's going to wear the captain's armband going forward, but it's it's not a happy place, is that of Aino addressing at Old Trafford. And I cannot see a positive outcome for either the player, the manager, or both. I can see this being, you know, judgment day between the two. And there are other players as well, I think, have also been critical of Mourinho, uh, be it privately or very publicly. We shall see what happens, but there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Um, odd decision by Mourinho. Um, please like and subscribe, place your comments below, and I'll have some more videos for you soon.